Hi makers, it's Michelle again with Fabric Funhouse, and today we are going to attempt to sew up the 241 tote by Noodlehead. Let's go over our materials. Let's talk about what we're going to sew with. So there are a couple of new colors that I've been wanting to try out. I figured this is the perfect excuse, so why not? Um, so today we are going to be using two of my favorite new colors of wax canvas. This one's dark agave, and this one is called Mystic. Um, it's like a bluey purple, um, but I really like them together. I think it's gonna look really nice. So this is gonna be my main part of the body. Um, how I put it together, I haven't quite decided yet, but there's so many different ways to do this one. And then I'm, as a contrast for the pockets, I'm going to use our silver shale cork fabric. As you can see, it's very sparkly. It's kind of dynamic. Um, and I think this will be great in moderation on our, our pattern today. So those are the materials I'm going to use. Let's talk about a couple of notions that I'll also be using today. So the thread I'm going to be using today is a 40 weight Aurifil thread and it is called, I believe, Medium Juniper. Um, it is not the match that we list to go with Dark Agave, but I liked it a little better. So personal preference here, but I'm going to use this one. It's a little lighter than the Dark Agave. I'll also be using uh, Sew Tights magnets. I don't know if you can see that. Um, this is my own personal collection of Sew Tights magnets. I hardly ever use the, the purple and the orange. I think they're more for paper piecing, but I use the heck out of these two bigger sizes. So we're going to use Sew Tights today. And the needle I'm going to be using today is going to be the Schmetz Chrome Microtex 8012. Um, this is my favorite needle to use on most projects. And the reason I'm choosing this over some other size of needle is we're not going to be doing any interfacing on this pattern. I'll tell you about that in a little bit. Um, and so I don't think we're going to need anything bigger than this. So that's what we're going to use today. We're also going to be using a, a tracing wheel because it's super easy to use on wax canvas to mark my darts, which I've already read through the pattern. That's how I know there's darts. And then we're also making a pocket. So I'm going to use my little pocket turner, which I do like. It makes them a lot cleaner, um, a lot nicer now. It does have a very pointy point not like a chopstick. So I do have to be careful and not just jam it in the um, corner or it will poke through. So uh, just be careful when you're using this. All right, so we've got all our materials. I'm ready to get started. Are you ready to get started? Let's get started. So first I'm taking my tracing wheel and tracing my darts. My tracing wheel on this wax canvas does go through two sides at one time, which makes it super simple to do. Then I'm clipping them so I can sew them up the machine. And at the same time, I'm also going to clip together my pockets on my exterior pockets to sew up at the machine as well. I'm not gonna explain too much here. It goes pretty fast. As a shortcut for the interior pocket, it does say to cut three pieces, um, seven by seven. What I did is since we're not using interfacing, I did just double the width and fold it over um, so that I only had to sew up three sides instead of four, not a big deal, but that was a little shortcut that I took because wax canvas, you don't really need the interfacing for the interior pocket unless you just really want it. It's the time to top stitch that interior pocket if you want to do that. Be very careful when you're clipping your curves. I've made this mistake several times and I definitely did it here. Um, sometimes you have to press pretty hard on the scissors and I cut through what I just stitched. So I had to come in a little bit more, which did make it a little wonky with the lining at the end. So just be careful when you're clipping those curves. If you're following along with me in the pattern, you'll notice I have skipped a top stitching step for a reason, but we'll talk about that at the end of the video. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and place my pocket and I'm gonna use the sew tights to do so. I'll go ahead and put together my strap for sewing and then that way all I have to do is sew up the lining once I've placed those two pieces. I do make a mistake here in that I close up the entire bottom of the lining. The pattern does not say to do that, but I did not read all the way through. So you'll see me unstitch that here in a second with my seam ripper. I'm not sure exactly why, but I did have a little extra fabric on the sides of the bag. So I went ahead and just trimmed them as best that I could. When placing the straps, make sure that they are as straight as you can get them. I know it's a little difficult, but I do use sew tights further down on them in order to keep them in place at as good of a 90 degree angle as I can get. And then have to open that lining back up so I can bird the bag properly. All right, well, here she is. It's a really cute little bag. Um, I love the pockets. I think it'll be great for a, a smaller water bottle, like a 20 ounce water bottle. The pocket is deep enough for a phone, which I have found on some bags to not be the case. So that is great. It does have a super wide strap. So I think that will be very nice carrying it around with me. I don't know if you can see this, I'm not very tall, but. I love the color combination. I think that this just gets set off with these colors. It's beautiful. I like the darts. So let's talk about some pros and cons of this pattern. It is my first time sewing it. Um, the pros are, I found it to be very easy, very quick to put together. This is probably the quickest I've ever sewn a pattern in my life. Um, so it was super quick once I got it cut and the pocket was probably my best pocket ever. Not that it has anything to do with the pattern. One other pro when I was trying to decide how I wanted to put the colors together, I knew which colors, but not exactly how I wanted to combine them. I went to Instagram for some inspiration. Um, this bag, you can make so many different styles out of just this one bag by color combination. Um, you could make these the same where this all looks like one piece. You could uh, block this, you could make it all one color. You could make um, this one piece, you know, I mean, there's just so many different ways to style this to your preference um, that I think you would really enjoy this bag. Um, you can put a magnetic snap on the top here. I chose not to this time, but you totally could. Um, and it would be very, very simple to do. So I really, really enjoyed this pattern. It was very quick. It took me maybe a few hours to put everything together and get it all cut. Um, there was one, huge, I don't know if it's huge yet. I haven't worn the bag enough, but um, it could be an issue. So, around the pocket here it said to stitch around here i could not figure this out i could not figure out how to get my machine to do that <laughs> without just wrecking the whole thing so if you've sewn this pattern before and you have a fantastic way to do that please leave it in the comments down below i would love to make one of these for my mom i think she would really enjoy it and so maybe i will try that step on my next attempt so while i love this pattern and it was super easy and this is not really a con for this pattern by the way it's more of a con to my sewing skills um, while I was going through, I did skip a couple of parts because I don't always read the steps like I'm supposed to and go in order and all that stuff. So, um, the part 
On the exterior of the bag, you've sewn your pockets to your exterior um, and you've sewn them around here. Well, it wanted you to turn it out and then top stitch right here. I could not figure out how to make that work with my machine without not being able to sew a straight line. <laughs> so if you have sewn this pattern before and you know exactly what I'm talking about and have figured out a way to do it practically, please leave that in the comments down below. I would love to hear it. I would love to make one of these for my mother and yeah, I need some help on that one. So I really don't know what the answer is. Other than that, love this bag. Very simple, great Christmas present, I think. It doesn't take a whole lot of material um, and it doesn't take a whole lot of time. So if you, you know, if you wanted to do this in cotton, you totally could. You could do it in all cork. You could do it in all wax canvas. Uh, you have a bunch of different possibilities. So you can tailor it to fit your friends and their personalities. And I think it would make a wonderful gift. All right, guys. Well, that's it. Um, the 241 tote by Noodlehead. Super easy. I put it together in less than a few hours, which is generally the only amount of time that I have anymore. Um, I will totally do this pattern again. Easy to follow instructions, very clear pictures, and not difficult at all. I rate it a thumbs up. So until next time, just remember, all you need is a little love and a big idea. Thanks guys.